They don't want to tell you that. When a white boy get a black pussy, that he love, he cherish that motherfucker. Because he knew that he's not just have a woman, but he got something great, that black pussy. You understand? He's going to get, he, he been a black woman, he's going to get a mixed baby. That black DNA going to be still strong in that baby. When a white boy gets some black pussy, he cherish it because he know that's some damn good pussy he getting. He getting a powerful woman. A powerful woman to help him run his business, run his house, take care of shit because she got that power. She got that motherfucking power. So when a black, but a white man gets some black pussy and he appreciate that black pussy, he get a lot of shit to go with that black pussy. Let me tell you. When a white boy walk out with a black woman and black people look at him, you know what I'm saying? Even a black man will come talking to him. Give him a fist up. What's up, Bridget? What's up, brother? How you doing? Start calling him brother and all that. Because he's getting some black pussy. You saw them on TikTok, see them on Facebook all over the place. When they got that black pussy, they dancing together, they happy together. That black white boy know what he's getting. He knew that he's getting a God. He knew that he's getting something that he had to cherish. The best thing in the whole fucking world is some black pussy. When if when a white man fucking a black pussy, he had to walk out proud in the black neighborhood. He walk out proud because he know walking a black sister fucking a black pussy. Ain't nobody gonna do him nothing. Ain't nobody gonna do no hurt on him. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to him. You know what I'm saying? Cause he getting that black pussy and he recognize which what is good. And when uh, when he recognize what is good, you gotta give the man respect. Cause he knew what is good. When a white man gets some black pussy, his life change. His life is going to change like a miracle in every fucking way. Because he's going to get some fucking food, some good food cooked in his house. That he never gets some good food like that. He ain't going to run to Burger King or McDonald's uh, to get a burger and he wants some fries. He's going to get some good cooked beef, some good food and some good black pussy in his dick. And make him feel good. Make him realize that he's a fucking man. Only black pussy can make you feel like you're a man. Watch other pussy in the world gonna make you feel like you're a man. You tell me. Because that black pussy got the power. He got the spirits with it. It's not just the pussy now. He's getting it. He getting a whole fucking spirit. To hold him up strong. To show him the way of knowledge and power. He's not just getting pussy. Unless he's getting some chicken and pussy. But you're a real black woman, a good black woman. When a white man get a black woman in his life and he respect that, he know he gets something good because he got that black pussy and that's like black gold. That shit is like black fucking gold, my nigga. Because now he got a strong background. Now he's going to have some strong fucking children. That melody in his fucking children, he got some beautiful fucking kids with a black woman. Black pussy is powerful, just like black dick is. It's powerful. You're not just going to go out there and just fight anybody. The melody in your skin is powerful. Hi, uh, hey, pretty lady. How you doing? How you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Goody, you saw that thing? Can you see if you can fix that thing with a stick for me? Thank you, Mama. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. I think that's what they, somebody in the first place here. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Just like some black dick. When a white woman get a long black dick, you know she's happy. When they used to come to Jamaica, they come to Jamaica, all they want is a long black dick. Some people used to call the man that sell them black dick gigolos. They used to call them the gigolos. They said they gigolos and shit. But I don't call them black dick because when the white women they come to Jamaica, they're looking for that long black dick. They want that black dick. Sometimes they rent um, they rent these in the hotels or these in the places. They stay for like two weeks. And they come to try to get a black guy and they pay you for the two weeks. And you sleep there every night with them. So they have somebody to up and down with them, give them that black dick, show them around. You know what I'm saying? They used to call the guys who do it the gigolo. Instead of prostitute, they call them the gigolo. That's how they want a long black dick. So the white woman, she want a long black dick. And the white man want that black pussy. 
when you get that long black dick, those women, they, they, they love that long black dick. I am telling you, the blacker the dick, the more it shines. They want the black dick. And they cherish that dick like, oh man, you see the way they suck it and the way they lick it and the way they look at it? They cherish that black dick. So don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody think you're less than anybody else because you don't. You, you open that black pussy, there's so much white guys coming to get that black pussy. Because they realize with the black pussy, they're strong. This strong black pussy, you getting black pussy, man, you feeling good every night. You see how the white boys cherish them black women? When they got a black woman, oh, they cherish them and shit. You saw them on TikTok dancing together, doing all that shit. They put them on test to see what my husband would do. Now the lady said, come and wipe my butt. And the guy was going to go wipe her butt. The white guy, because you know that black pussy is good. And that black dick. People, people don't understand that your black pussy and your black sperm and all this motherfucker that built in the fucking world are keeping the world strong. You don't know how powerful you are in knowledge. You don't know how powerful you are in bed. Your black pussy and your black dick. You got a whole lot to give to this whole motherfucking world. And they got to respect that. They got to respect that. Because most time when a white woman want to feel good, she go look for a big black dick. That black dick makes she fly high, sky high. Like you're on some fucking cracker cocaine. That black dick, shit. When a white woman taking that black dick, shit. You feel like they're going to heaven. It's like they experience heaven for the first time and motherfucking hurt. You don't know what you have. You think it's a joke? This is not no comedy. This is some real shit. Know that black pussy and that black dick. That is what with the knowledge all this world together right now. That's the shit that all the world together right now is the black pussy and the black dick and the knowledge because that's where we have the power. We have the sexiness. You understand? We have the power and the knowledge. Fucking every black people should get up this morning and say, you know what, I'm not going to work today. All over the fucking world, we're going to quit. We're not going to work for nobody no more. We ain't going to do shit right now. Let's at least lock off for two weeks, not doing anything, and you see what the fuck happened. You see what the fuck happened. You will walk outside, you think it's a disaster now? If black people should quit right now and lock down and say, you know what? Yeah, yeah. In just two fucking weeks, you see what happened. It's worse than a fucking war. People be dying like crazy. Nobody going to clean their butt, cooking their food. They can't get their own people to do it. You know what I'm saying? They can't get their own people to work and wipe their own butt. They have children who are rich. They have how much money in the bank and they're millionaires and they still got to get as a black person to come and clean their shit, wipe their ass, cook their food and look over them. Sometimes they're disrespecting you, spitting on you, they're old. They, they're not trying to find God and shit. How are they going to try to find God if they don't like you and you're already God and they're looking at you? What the fuck? If they're looking at you and they're treating you like that, they think they're going to find God? No. They ain't going to find God. Let all of them quit. And you will see what happened. No babysitter going out to babysit them white babies. Pushing around the fucking park. Baby crying all day. You know what I'm saying? Let's quit for a couple of weeks and you see what the fuck happened. Since everybody want to be like this and nobody. No more pussy, black pussy going out. No more black dick going out. None of that shit going out. You see what the fuck happened. You will see the fuck happen. Stop sucking a white dick and fucking a white dick. And when they stop getting that black pussy, that black dick up in that pussy. And stop babysitting them babies. Stop working in McDonald's. Stop working in KFC. Stop working in White Castle. Stop home attendant. Stop all this shit. And if you stop all the shit, watch and see what happen. If we all should stop that shit. And stop all that shit. We own back the world for our own self. Pay attention to our own motherfucking business. Pay attention to our own business. Some of the open so they have black businesses. They want to support black businesses. But as you go inside, they start skin up their face. They want to be peculiar. You know black people out there is motherfucker. Open the door and let us in. Open up the motherfucking door and let us in because you know how a style. If we're going to talk and what we're going to do, you already know what we're going to do. What we're going to buy, we're going to spend money. But we're going to be ourselves too. We ain't gonna come in a fucking line, stand there, act like a fucking white chicken wet with water. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We gonna be ourselves, but we gonna spend. That's the thing. White folks know how to put up with us. You know what I'm saying? They even try to give you a discount because they know we like discounts so we could put up their business. You understand what I'm saying to you? A lot of black people, they have business and shit. They don't want to give you nothing free. They don't want to put a little something cheap so you could get and all that shit. You, you got to know how to do business as a black person. Because remember, you, you ought to get to do no fucking business. So when you get a chance to do business, do it right. Do it right, motherfuckers. But we going to spend. You know what I'm saying? Black people are beautiful people in every shade, every color, every ear style, all shape, size, body, all size, shape, dick and size, dick. And you want to see some black dick. I get some nice black dick in my fucking life, boy, and I'm black. I got white dick too. I had some sweet white dick that was sweet, but I was sweet in my own self because I'm the one that carried the fucking syrup on that fucking white dick. Oh, yeah. I was a syrup on that white motherfucking dick. You know what I'm saying? Like the fucking syrup on your pancake. What the fuck you talking about? I love everybody. I got some big white dick before too. But I was a syrup on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's alright, but it's not sweet like the black one. <laughs> that black dick is sweet as a motherfucker. <laughs> Lord, you know I pray this morning. That black dick. When you put that black dick into a black pussy, we said Murder! <laughs> your blood clad. You have to understand how this shit work. It's electronics. You see, the black people with the melanin carry so much fucking electronics in the body. So much electrics going through the body. When you put a black pussy and a black dick together, there's a whole lot of electronics going off, baby. <laughs> a whole lot of shit. Like, oh shit. Like two machines set off to strike each other. Because the both of them have so much fucking high energy. High frequency. That shit is like... <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. Yes, <laughs> you have to know that shit because a lot of them don't know how sweet the black pussy is. They don't know. They, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know. Some of them like, I'm gay, I'm gay, okay, I don't want a pussy, I'm gay, you know. I understand that you're gay, but you ever fuck a black pussy before you become gay? Probably you wouldn't be gay no more. Some sweet ass black pussy. <laughs> I'm telling you, black pussy and black dick got something on it, baby. I have to ask the white girl who's sucking that black dick that I have that black dick. And when she tell, when she, you see, when a white girl cuff a black dick, let me tell you something that you don't know. When a black girl, when a white girl cuff a black dick, she hold it with her hand and she put her hand down it like it's some god. Of course it's a motherfucking god. That black dick is a motherfucking god. You better believe it's a motherfucking god you're talking to right there. That shit go up in you, gonna give you nice children's. Gonna make your backbone stronger. Your children is gonna have more strength than you. Cause when the babies are mixed, when they go on the beach, I'm telling you, it could go a lot, they can take sun a lot more. You, you know what I mean? What do you look like? Yeah, a lot more. You know what I'm saying? That black dick is God and that black pussy is God. That's why you have them fucking children, you know what I'm saying? When you can give birth, you can get pregnant and give birth and having babies. Oh, white boy, you got something good going. You got that black pussy on your dick and getting them babies spitting out that black woman on there. You better cherish your fucking ass. You better cherish your ass because you got a God. That fucking giving your babies, bringing life to this world, mixed babies, and putting your strong backbone so you become stronger in this motherfucking race. What are you trying to tell me? People never look into it how great black pussy is. Chinese like black pussy. A lot of Chinese guys come into the black race and they end up have black babies, mixed black babies. Chinese, Chinese. They fucking black pussy and they love it. Some of them might act like they don't like you, but when a Chinese boy like you, he gets some of the black pussy too and he have mixed with black babies. Black and Chinese. The Indian come in, they do the same thing for the black pussy. The whites come in, the same thing for the black pussy. The Arabs come in, same thing for the black pussy. They all come for the black pussy. Every nation, Mexican, you can name it. They all come for the black pussy. And they all come for the black dick. Think about that shit. I'll give you something to think about for the rest of the day. You carry the black fucking gold. 
Your black pussy is gold and your black dick is gold. That's not something that come by easily. You know what I'm saying? And when you come by something good like that, you got it. That's why they, when a white boy get them black pussy, they lock you down. They're like, come on. I don't care if my mama don't like you. I don't care if my sister is racist. I don't give a fuck what they do. All I know, my dick is not racist. And I'm feeling you right now, baby. I'm a marrying you. Most of them black guys, white guys, when they get a black woman, they marry you. They put you in a house. They left their rich parents' house. And they go get a job. And start putting you in an apartment. Because their rich parents, they have like, no, 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 no. I'm not giving a house to, 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 to move nobody in. You ain't going to move that black bitch in a house. You ain't gonna, she ain't going to come living off of us. But at the same time, your son dick is living off that black pussy. At the same time, your son dick is living off that black pussy. Do you ever think about that? He wants to be comfortable so he can get that black pussy when he wants to get it. He want to have it close by. You know, no matter what you say to him through one years, he's coming back through the other years. He want that black pussy. He know what he experienced. See, a lot of people that don't like you because your skin color, when their daughters and their son go out and get some black gold, you know what I mean? Then that's the time they change. Like, I'm trying to talk to you, Andrea. I'm trying to tell you I don't like that boy. I that boy you're going out with, and he's black. I don't like that boy. And Andrea like, no, 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 no. You don't go talk about my man like that. You don't go disrespecting my fancy, my girlfriend and my wife, because I'm going to marry them. Like, what are you going to do? What? Get out of the house. Get out of this house. And don't ask me for any money. And whatever you have in your bank account, whatever. Like, yep. And like, I don't give a ass. That, that, that black gold is in my fucking brain. You see, that shit possess your motherfucking ass. You don't want to hear what the fuck they got to say, whether they like you or they don't like you. They don't. Them white boys don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They want a black pussy. They move the fuck out. They come out their parents on so fast after getting a black pussy. <laughs> They're like, fuck you and your riches, motherfucker. I'm seeking God. They're like a white boy seeking God. Yep, I'm seeking God. The most high God. I'm seeking. That's what my girlfriend's seeking. She's black. She with the most high. I'm with the most high. I'm fucking that black pussy. And they stayed. They be getting some nice looking babies and shit. Babies looking all good. You know what I'm saying? With a black DNA and the baby looking pretty and shit. Nice curly hair and all that shit. That black pussy sealed the deal. That black dick sealed the deal. People have to know what they have is better than cocaine and crack in their drawers. It's more addictive than crack and cocaine. Because once you do that, they connect with your soul. And once a person is a good soul, they connect with your soul. You can live with them. You can because they treat you good. Them white boys be treat you good. You know what I'm saying? If you find a white boy not treating you good, then he's on the fucking demons. Because demons is in every fucking race. But I'm talking about the black pussy and the white pussy and the education of knowing that black people are the most powerful all over the world. And for them to know the power, the power is also in the pussy. And the power is also in the dick. Because any white boy that get a black pussy, he never went back white again. He cursed all his ex-white girlfriends. He cursed them out. You know, he go blagging them out. He, he changes his number because he don't want to hear shit. When the phone ring and he realize a black pussy call him, that white boy become pink color. Why he become pink? Because the blood rush all up in his head, he become pink. So you have to know what you have. You see? A lot of black men sometimes they like, it's okay, you know, I'm going to share, I'm going to go with a white girl and give her some black dick, you know what I mean? I get a lot of black pussy and it's good. But you know why it is still good for them when they go over there? Because like I said, they got all that fucking electric in the body. So when they go to the, the white female and go and put that dick inside, they're shocking up the whole body. The whole cell started to become alive in a white woman's body. All the cells started to become alive. She jerking up and all that shit. All her body is a whole entity taking her spread over, which is strong, black, and knowledgeable. And she get knowledge and power. Go in the kitchen, cook her some black meals. Show her the way of life. <coughs> Sorry. Flame up my chest. You know that go. I'm into alkaline jungle. That's why lately you could tell. I'll be so busy. I'm going to try to go there tomorrow. Yeah. So what I'm saying, go to alkalinejungle.com. Get your strength and get your strength in your dick. Get your power in the pussy. Those muscles in the pussy that quint. Like my roommate was telling me this morning. Like my friend was telling me this morning. Well, uh, uh, 
they buy some pum pum tan. I was like, damn, that shit is so good because it just squeezes up the muscles so tight in my vagina. I was telling her, yeah, but you gotta be careful, don't put too much. You know what I'm saying? Cause the pussy got power. That, 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 that muscle in the pussy that grab the dick and squeeze it. It's like a squeezer. It's like a squeezer. So imagine a black, a white boy put his dick in a black pussy. And it's like he put his dick into a motherfucking juicer that squeeze all the juice out. Because once your dick goes in there and the muscle start to squeeze that shit, it's like a squeezer. Like an organic juice story going to. Squeezing all that. Why do you think they be having all them babies? Why do you think a white boy be having all them babies or black girl? Because her pussy squeezing all the juice out. Once he put his dick in that motherfucker, the muscle start to squeeze his dick. And that's where all the juice, like juice this motherfucker out. Because like I tell her, we like a motherfucking machine. We are like a machine. So once he put his dick inside that shit, he start to squeeze all his sperm. Because a white boy, you know, they start to flatter. You, you give a white boy some good black pussy, he start to flatter. Because he ain't used to that shit. He crying all for his mama. He cry for his mama. You give a white boy some black pussy, he cry for his mother. I'm telling you. Ah! Mama! He can't believe that shit, boy. He be crying for his mother. I'm telling you. I, I, I dated a couple of white boys. I fucked a couple of white boys. You know what I'm saying? I have done that. And trust me, they cry for their mother. When they feel that black pussy started trumming their fucking dick, the sweetness that they feel, they never felt anything like that. That's the closest way they ever get to heaven. They cry for their mama. They give you anything that they have. They like take it all. I don't give a fuck. You want this baby? Take it. You want that? Take it. Your pure Sanders is a thousand dollar, fifteen or two thousand for the Sanders. I pay for the Sanders. I like no baby. Don't buy a Sanders for two thousand dollars. Are you crazy? No, 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 no. I'm paying for the Sanders. You can't tell me nothing. You gotta have the best of everything in life. That's how they go. When you squeeze that shit, the muscle lock down on that dick and start to fucking vibrate, and it start to go up and down on that dick. Those muscles. That motherfucker lost his mind. Black pussy is the dangerousest pussy you could come across in the whole world. Because it's black gold and it's a special type of pussy. You have different type of pussy. You know what I'm saying? You have pussy when you go in the small little hole and you end up big in the bottom. You have pussy that big on the top and you end up small in the bottom. You have pussy that very sweet as you go in, you can't stay too long in it. You fall the fuck out. You start to vibrate, you fall on, you start to stiff out yourself and start to jerk that shit flat in your body. You take it back out. You have all kind. So what people don't understand how powerful they are. As a black, black people is the most powerful people in the whole entire world. And when you know that, you should respect yourself and be glad for who you are and flaunt it, baby, because you got it. I'm going to cut these braids out, goody. I already got the braid wig to put on. I didn't want to, but I, I can't walk around ball. I rather put a braid wig and treat my ear underneath and I slit it down with some gel with my ear dry and put a wig cap over my head. But I don't like the wigs, you know that. But you see the condition on my inside, I can't keep going like that. If I take the shirt and I'm going to braid my ear again, it's going to continue until the whole no ear is not made at all. Walk around the whole of my head, I'm going to look like a fucking dick. Shine like a hooded, but I want that. So let's cut it out, treat me here, and put it back. We go ahead, we got it. Yeah, some people don't know what they have. They don't know how special they are as a black female. They don't, they see a white boy trying to talk to you, not just trying to talk to you. He trying to get your black fucking gold on his dick. And once you come on his dick, oh my God. Once you come on a white boy dick, you own his heart. I'm telling you. I have this white boy used to come and see me all the time because he loved my pussy because he's sweet. He love that shit because it's sweet, baby. He love me. And I'm telling you, that's how if you want appearance, if you want your kids to move out real fast from you, as a white person, you have a white daughter or a son, and you tell them not to go fuck a black person, you wrong for that. You wrong for that, mama. Mama, you wrong for that. Because I love everybody. I love everybody, whether you're white, purple, or blue. Like I said, I had a couple white guys before. I got small dick white guys. I got big dick white guys. You know what I'm saying? But like I tell you, it was as good as the black one. The black one, I get extra power in that shit. That shit is like you plug me into a current. <coughs> I get to my cough now, man. So. It's fucking Get the fuck out of here, man. I like I could stay in this motherfucker. Fucking tired of this fucking place. Fucking shit, man. Fuck out of here. Yeah. 
I know what is searching for on in the fucking cabinet in the, in, the, in the bathroom. Come on, bitches. You're in a fucking shelter. We can be searching for the motherfucking shelter in the cabinet. Leave all the cabinet, go in the fucking bathroom, turn on the water. Leave the water running there to overflow the whole place. Some sick motherfuckers. Ask them, what am I doing here? Why well, I'm inside of a mad house? They said because when I was placing people, the only way they could have find a place was the one that they have space. That's why I'm here. Because that's like I'm amongst a lot of crazy people, man. That's fucking crazy. I know I ain't crazy. I lost my motherfucking mind. Yeah. So, um, I need to cream up my face, man. Yeah, so, um, so they don't understand the power that they with all. I'm going to fix up myself good enough. Don't know where yourself. Which is true. May I work, 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 work. I want to take out this thing out of my ear, though. I'm going to take it out today before I leave the house. Yeah, goody. I love you and so forth. Yeah, I'm supposed to go get a goody cream, go get her, you know. On Jamaica Avenue. I don't want to go, but I'm a good, good goody. I'm going to deliver her cream out there. For deliver our cream out there. See? I don't want to walk around like that. No, man. This thing taking up me here. Yeah, so, like I said to you. Sorry about that. They don't know. They don't know what they really have. You know what I mean? They don't know what they really have. And when, when you're a black woman, you must know that you're special. You have to know that you're a very special woman. As a black woman, you're carrying that melanie. You're carrying that black pussy that they want to get the melanie. When they put the dick inside and start having kids, you're going to have some beautiful melanin skin kids mixed with melanie. Those skins are going to be strong. Those skins are going to be wise. Because now you put your wiseness, your DNA mixed with his and go into it. You understand? I'm not saying two white people cannot have wise kids. Don't get me wrong. Because people might get me wrong in this. I don't want you to get me the wrong way. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying that when you mix with the black... This is how you survive stronger. You have a stronger genes not to get sick as easy like when your gene by itself because the black people they're carrying a certain power, a certain genes. So when you mix with them, your children would be stronger. Your children would be wiser in knowledge and everything else. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I said black people are the most powerful. But black people don't, don't un understand or recognize who they really are. But you had to recognize a lot of a white guy the other night he pulled on me want to get me some of my black fucking gold. I mean, his eyes was wide open. He want to get some of my black gold, baby. I was like, no, 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 no. I say I'm sorry. I stay right in the shelter. Let me know I'm stay right up in the shelter right there. That didn't turn him off at all. He still wanted to talk. You know what I mean? And all that shit. He probably have a place he want to put me and shit. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. You know I'm always farting. Yeah. So. That's the thing. He's, that didn't turn him off. Because, you know, some man that shit turned out like I'm in the shelter. They gone. You know what I'm saying? They gone. Because they don't want to hear that shit. They want to come home and fuck now. They want to know you have a place they could come now and all that shit. So, you know, if a person, you lick them with that shit. And it's a white boy still standing there talking. He didn't even fuck about that. You know, he, he wanted to get inside. He probably wanted to help me to get something or somewhere. You know, but I was like, nah, nah, I'm not into that shit. I'm not. I walk away with my black gold. I was like, my gold is too fucking precious, my nigga. I, I can't bother with that shit right now. I'm doing it for myself. Let me just sit on this black gold. You know, I've menopause. I don't get period no more. So, you know, the gold is backed up even fucking more. And I was like, nah, nah, I ain't give that shit up right now, baby. That shit is high. Come on, come on, we call it commodity. Right now, that shit is high. You got to know how good that black dick is. That black dick is gold. That big, strong black dick. That shit spit off a lot of sperms and shit. In your womb, you get pregnant. You ain't got to go to no fucking test tube, baby. Where they put the fucking sperm in a tube and push it there and try to insert it in you. That dick go right in there and insert everything that you need. It right up in there. That dick, that black dick find its way all the way to the end of the fucking womb and spray that shit in there. You ain't got to go to the doctor and put it in, open your legs and use this turkey base motherfucking tube. Look like a base in fucking turkey. Put in your vagina, spraying that shit out of the old sperm that all the chemical and manipulate and put that shit in. That's why some of them motherfuckers born, they're fucking crazy. A lot of these motherfuckers, they're crazy before they was born. You know, know these fucking babies are mad babies. They're mad. Like a mad person, mad babies. They're mad before they was born. Because all that sperm and manipulated before it put in the womb, that made a fucking baby crazy. That's a mad ass fucking baby. You think a baby can't be mad like a normal person be mad? Baby can be mad too. And you wonder why the baby started to walk, started to chill in the whole place. Mommy, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Around the fucking house. 
Can't even talk good and start to tell you fuck you. So you have to know what you're dealing with, that you had a good genes. You know, you have to know that you're special. You have to know that you, you know you love yourself, love your friends, love your neighbor. You know what I mean? Love a sister when you see a sister. Love a brother when you see him. When a good brother. Not the ones that test you one. Can they test you the crazy ones? From the time they was in the womb, they was already crazy. And they grow up crazy. So you can't do nothing with them. They don't know what they they don't know what they carry. They don't know what they have. And they don't appreciate what they have. But when you appreciate what you have, and you know that you got a good ass dick. That dick is gold. You know? Some man got some nice ass, beautiful dick. No bumps on the dick. You know what I'm saying? No marks on the dick. It's just pretty and pink on top and pretty blooming like a motherfucking flowers. When a white girl saw that she appreciated more than most black women. Some black women don't even appreciate that much. Like, that nigga ain't got no money. Fuck that shit. That nigga ain't driving no wheels. Uh, that nigga ain't got shit. I ain't got no time for this nigga. I'm a broke ass nigga. This broke ass motherfucker. And yeah. The nigga ain't got no wheel. The nigga ain't got a house. The broke ass motherfucker. But when a white chick comes, she pick him up because she's like, this is good. This is some black gold right here. I don't give a fuck if he ain't got a house and a car. I'll buy him one. I'll buy him a house. I'll buy him a car. I'll buy all that shit because my family got money. You know what I'm saying? I buy him all that shit that he need because I know what I'm dealing with is a black motherfucking gold. And she take the dick. Later on, they see that same nigga riding some wheels down the street looking all good. The same bitch like... She like, hello, same bitch will pull him like, hi, ready to smile with a brother. You know, remember when a brother was with a, with a long fucking black gold in his pants, wanted to give it to you, but because I didn't have a house or I didn't have a car and the shit that you require from me before I could get in that black pussy, a white lady come and take it. She know how value that shit was. She, she ain't waiting about to with a broke ass and she ain't got no time for that because she know a nigga ain't broke. He got black gold. She know a nigga ain't broke because he got some black motherfucking gold. How can you have something so precious that going to give you them nice babies and give you everything and satisfy you, make you come easy and quick, you know, sweet all the time? That's a motherfucking black gold. So them white girls coming like, oh, whatever, bitch. I'll take your man. Fuck that. I'll take your man. You don't want him? Shoo. I'll take him. She take him to live in house with him. The relationship going good, they get married, they got kids, they live in a fucking mansion, got business going, because she know how funny that black dick was. But them black sisters, I think we be getting a black dick too easy. Don't appreciate nothing. But you say, because we know that we carry the same amount of value. We got black gold, they got black gold. You try to fuck around because it's black gold and black gold, you know what I mean? You're not trying to appreciate that you're like, I got black gold too, motherfucker, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to give it to you because, you know what I'm saying? I got a high company. I ain't got to give it to you because you ain't got nothing. I just don't want to get the black gold up in me because I have black gold already. Fuck that shit. So they go to the white girl. They go to them. The white guys come in the same thing. Like, oh, they see a white boy walking in like, damn, I like that white boy. Look good. They're just looking at his white skin. They're not looking about the money and what he had to give to them. You couldn't give a black, black brother. You couldn't give a black brother because he ain't got no wheels. But the white boy ain't got no wheels, but you still give it to him. Ha <laughs> ha! The white boys ain't got no wheel and no place for you, but you still give it to him. And when he get it, he got that black gold. With a lot of value on it, and you never get shit. But you couldn't give it to another brother because he got black gold too. Because two black gold together ain't no easy fucking struggle. Your motherfuckers be going for hours. Bus one nut, bus two nut, three hour, hours. Black goals and black goals together, they be busting a lot of motherfucking nuts. <laughs> I'm telling them, black gold together, they be vibrating to each other like you plug them in a fucking wall and they going off both of them. That's some shit to fucking see, brother. So when they act like, nah, nah, you ain't got no wheels, my nigga, you broke. A white girl coming like, you ain't motherfucking broke. You got what I need. You see, I can have beautiful children with you. You can give me what I want all night. Because some of them white boys got some small ass dick, I must tell you. Very weird you find a white boy with big dick. Very weird. And he ain't got the steam coming off. A black boy with his skin is dick. You can actually see the heat rising off the fucking dick like when you open a pot and a pot cooking on a fire. You ever cook in a pot of soup and you open a pot of soup and when you open it, you see all the steam coming off the soup? That's how a black dick is. That's how a black pussy is. He carry that extra heat and steam in that motherfucker. What? What? It's a word to my motherfucker. Word to a motherfucker. I tell you that. 
so they don't understand what they're carrying they don't understand how great they are how powerful they are how beautiful they have the beautiful kids and then black gold them 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 babies from black gold and black gold is some strong ass black gold babies they have some strong ass genes so when black gold and black gold go together and have babies those babies are mighty fucking powerful they don't know these things they just think it's nothing they don't think how powerful they are they don't know it's nothing they don't understand that shit what they carry you have to know you must know what that you have black gold you must realize when you open up that black pussy and the dick goes in and start to vibrate you got something great money can't pay for that shit nothing that they buy you can't pay for that shit nothing that they give you can't pay for that shit that shit is there's nothing can pay for it so once you look at it that way and once you're understanding who you are and understanding why you get the most fight in the whole world why you get the most hate in the whole world why you get the less money pay on your job the less paycheck you're making less than everybody else in the whole world you have to understand because they're jealous of you they're jealous of your black dick they're jealous of the black pussy they're jealous of the black hairstyle they're jealous of the black attitude they're just jealous of every motherfucking thing because you're a black gold know who you are and know that you're carrying black gold and know that you hold a lot of value to yourself to the most high god that give you that and cherish it and stop walking around acting like you're a fool stop walking around acting like you're a fool <laughs> I don't know where I get called from. I don't know where I get called from, girl. Yeah. So you don't know who you are. And you're not recognizing who you are. Recognize yourself. When a white boy walk up to you and try to get that black pussy, you make sure. You make sure before you give up that black pussy what you're giving up to. Because you're giving a whole lot. You're giving a whole lot, honey. Because when that dick go inside and you start to work that motherfucking white dick, he going to cry for his mama. I dare you he's going to cry for his mama. Sometimes he'll say, oh, yeah. and call him some name. He say, well, you call another bitch name? No, he ain't calling his mother. He's calling his mother name. He's not calling another woman name. He's calling his mother name. Because, you know, the pussy get on the dick and he start to vibrate. I tell you, white boy love themselves some black pussy, and they must not deny it. Arab man love them. Arab guys, oh my God, they love themselves some black pussy. Arab guys, man, they love themselves some black pussy, honey. Don't let them fool you. That plus black pussy control the whole fucking world and the black dick. And people fail to recognize and stand up to the truth and say, y'all, y'all did it. Y'all got that black gold. You got that motherfucking black gold pussy. And you got that on your dick too, motherfucker. You can charge by the motherfucking inch for that black gold. I understand what I'm saying. I love every nation. But when it comes to black pussy, everybody wants it. They want to fucking eat it. They want to fucking lick it. They want to stick it. They want to do all that. Some of them want to come in it and turn around and lick the cum from the black pussy like a dog. Let me tell you. Understand what I'm saying. Don't be disrespected. Don't feel bad about what I'm saying. It's just a plain truth. Without no black pussy, no black dick, no black hands, no black feet, no black workers, no blackness, the whole fucking world is done. Understand that shit. People don't understand that we are the one that run the motherfucking world. Black pussy, black dick, black hands, black feet, black workers. It's all black. They talk about black life matters. No, black dick matters. Black pussy matters. But black dick life matters. All life fucking matters. Right? But you got to respect it to know that black dick matters and black pussy. Because we don't know black dick and no black pussy, no black hands, no black feet, no work, black workers. The whole world is done. We own up every part of the world. We all should pack our bags right now and go back to motherfucking Africa. Because Africa, a lot of part of Africa is motherfucking rotten rich. We are just over here thinking that Africa is not poor. A lot of Africa is rotten rich. Look better than this motherfucking place over here. A lot of part of Africa. With our culture and our big black goals waiting for us over there. All we have to fucking do, make up our mind. 
Pack up fucking suitcase and so we're gonna go home to our black goals. You understand? Go home to this big black dick in Africa. You're gonna go back, you're gonna eat good food in Africa, live in good house and all that shit. People think that is only America is rich and America. Never. No, black um, Africa is fucking rich. Let me tell you. Africa is very rich in another part of Africa. Big houses they got. Nice fucking houses. Ain't no cooped up apartment like your fucking chicken. Big, nice fucking houses. Okay? Nice clothes. The good material you can't even get to buy here. Know about your heritage of the black gold, the black dick, and the black pussy. We ain't just have a black pussy and a black dick, but we also have black knowledge. The knowledge how to eat and how to drink and how to stay alive from sickness and how to put that pussy on that dick. A lot of us, we know how to fuck. We know how to whine. We know how to joke. We know how to sit on that dick and just whine on it slowly, slow motion. We can joke it real hard, real fast. We can sit on it up and down, you know. Those white girls are trying to be like us, like back in the days. You know this how they sit on the dick? They be going up and down like a trampoline. We're going to trampoline. We are jumping. And you just jump on it and you keep boom up in the air. That's the way they be sitting on the dick. They be sitting on the dick and it's like up and down. Get them up and down like you're doing squat on that dick. Like, I, I don't understand that kind of fucking baby. I don't understand those kind of fucking. You have to know to get the dick in the pussy, put this muscle and take your time and work that motherfucker right. You're jumping up under all this dick you're here, flying up in the air. You're sucking the dick your head, going up and down real fast. Boom it. Whenever I used to suck dick and all that shit. We learn sucking dick from white girls. And you know it's true. Because when I was young and I used to watch two people window, because, you know, we was poor. We was very poor and shit. So we never had no TV and shit. And I'm a friend next door. So I had to go next door and they have the window open. I was hiding in the garage with the old vannies. And I peeped through the window and the people was doing pornos and shit. And that's when I saw a white girl sucking dick. Flashing her ear all along. Flashing out here like her neck gonna broke. I'm going round and round on a motherfucking dick. That's how I learned to suck dick from a white girl. I tell you. White girl is the first girl that see suck dick. Because they're trying to get that black gold. That feelings. That the black gold has. And they don't have it. They don't have the black gold feeling. The black gold where you vibrate and put that shit in and vibrate. Both and vibrating. So they're trying to come up with their own method. Their own style to make it vibrate. And that's when black girls start to suck dick too. But they don't realize you don't have to suck a dick. Because you got that black gold pussy. You don't have to suck no dick to satisfy no man. See? That's why the most high God got to curse you for sucking dick. You got to sin so bad to be sucking dick. Because you don't need to suck dick when you get that good ass pussy between your legs. That black gold. But then white girls will be trying to take away all man or black golds. They're like, fuck that. I'm going to suck his dick. I'm going to try to get you know some electronics going on here. And, you know, the electronics to plug in is not the same. So I'm going to try to get electronics in. So I'm going to put my mouth in this fucking dick that I need to eat my pancake in the morning with. And try to suck that shit up and down. And then I put it all the way in the throat. They call it deep throat. How fucking deep in your throat you want to put a dick, my nigga? It wasn't meant to go in your throat. Your throat was deep because it meant to swallow your food deep. <laughs> oh, God. So they started doing one of the blue movies. White girl sucking dick, flashing her ear up and down. That's how dirty wine come in, you know. That's when they have the dirty wine come in. Dirty wine with their head rolling around. <coughs> Sorry about that. Where did I catch a call from? Then when I went, my foot was kind of cold. I went to the place. What are you fat? If you're a fat black woman or skinny black woman, it doesn't make a difference. I need to cream up, man. The other day when I went out there, when I went out there and um, me have the slippers on. Yeah, me have the slippers on. Me come from the place. I'm gonna do my pedicure. Me come from the place. I'm gonna have the slippers on. It's kind of get chilly. And so I'm gonna cream up. Put them the real black on this, you know. I'm cream up. Put up our good cream and come back. Yeah. Green color. A green. Green. A green mama. Green color. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, yeah so, um, yeah, they don't understand. That's why they start sucking their dick. And then black girls and the China people back in China, they have the big old iron around their fucking neck. This long iron they put around their neck to train the neck for the neck to be so motherfucking long. I don't know why they want the neck to be so long. But when they start to start they talk about deep throat. And that is why spoilination. That's why black people start to get cursed from the most high God for sucking dick. And sucking pussy. That them start to, that's a white boy thing. White boy like to suck pussy. Like I said, they come up with that. That was their version of Fumberclad. That was their version of electronics. They don't have that electronics going through them. When they get on and shit, the electronics on, they don't have that shit. They got to make their own style. So they come up with sucking dick and sucking pussy. That's how black people start to follow them. I start to suck pussy too. And all these motherfuckers, they start to have small dick because they're not, the goal, the black goal, small dick because they're not eating the right food. They start to follow them and eat the food that they eat too and eat the same thing that they eat. They want to eat the weird fucking beef. You're going to fucking kill the animal and take the fresh that's not even cooked. They call it weir. Where they fucking put the beef in the pot and the fire the oil and turn it to side and cut inside blood still running inside. You're going to eat that shit. That fucking bacteria and germs and all that pus and shit to make you fucking sick. You're eating a fucking animal and eating all the raw blood and shit in your system. That fucking cutting on your perm, sperm count and make your dick weak. Now you're walking around with a small dick, a weak dick. You know what I'm saying? A sick dick. Your dick is sick. Your dick ain't standing up strong and all that shit because of the shit that you're eating. Everybody wasn't meant to eat the same food. See, a white person can drink all the milk, eat all the bagels with cream cheese and all that shit. Nothing happened to them. You try it as a black motherfucking goal and see what happened to you. Your system started to break the fuck down. Gotta get up. I'm comfortable like this one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It started to break your system down. Look what the pillar them good enough. The pillar them get so soft quick. I will buy them pillar that's 60 a dollar almost 70 dollars for two pillar. In a Macy's. Yeah, the pillar is such them shit not good no more. Get some flat in space about one week it flat already. I put the sheet over them because let me tell you. Look, look at this. Go flat this shit is. But well, I put my name on it just in case somebody stole it. They don't know how my name right on it. So I can go to the bedroom and find it. And fucking deal with their fucking ass. I put my name on it. So if they steal it, they don't know that my name is on it. You know what I'm saying? And they might just grab it up and take it out of the room if I'm not here and go on and might steal it. But what they don't know that it's Mark on you and it can't come off. Good. This one too. See? Can't steal my shit then. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, I love it too, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I cut out the skin out of my ear sometime today or whatever. Maybe we got ready and fit me. But I want to cut it out because, um, I want somebody to fit the wig on for me. Tight and good. Let's just say gunman, gunman in a show wall and chill like that. That foolishness that. That foolishness or gunman in your wall and chill like that. That foolishness that. So what I'm saying to you is, understand who you are. When a white boy or a white girl step to you, them step to you because there's more. It's not just sex or just like you. They, they want something more. You're carrying something more powerful. Right? They want to have nice kids. They want to get good food. They want a strong person. When the next to a white person, they become very strong. Very strong than how they used to be. Then that is why you have to understand who you are. And if person don't treat you right or I say they hate you because of your skin color, all the better if somebody do that. Because you know why they're doing that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand, make them stronger, make them a better man or a better woman, being with you as a black person. It makes you a better person because you can cook certain food, show them certain place, you take them on a the plane, you take them back home to the islands, you show them good life. You know what I mean? And you and, and you're making them do the right thing. You're not trying to do the wrong thing. You're doing the right thing. You're treating them good. You know what I'm saying? They're having a good life. The black pussy is gold. Black gold and the black dick is black gold. And once you understand who you are and what you do, 
And understand the most high God that give you that. You have to understand who you are. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna walk around sucking everybody's pussy or sucking everybody's dick. Because you know you got that power in the pussy. Once the dick enter into it, you don't have to suck nothing. Even before your your clothes comes off, the dick will be ready for you. Before your clothes comes off, the dick will already stand up before your clothes comes off. And when your clothes come off, even more the dick gonna stand up. So you don't, don't need to suck it before it comes up. You know what I mean? You don't need to do that. That, that, that's a white girl that I learned from that sucking dick. White girls is what I first saw since I was a young girl. Sucking dick for the first time. It was a white female I saw doing that shit. And a lot of the blue movies and blues and ponos, that we you know, call it, they were still doing the same thing. But even the blues and the blues movie now, you notice how they still have that black gold? You notice how the white girl have to take the black gold and put it online, right? Or the black gold end up doing ponos now. You notice how the black gold doing that now? Yes, and camera, and camera, putting that black gold in her, and camera. But I don't think people should expose themselves like that on camera, you know what I'm saying? Thank God for God's creation, thank God you got a black gold, thank God you got a good life now. You know, you're going to live life happy and joyful now. And just thank God for the most I got for that. You can't hate a black girl because of skin color. You can't hate a white person because of skin color. Just know that you're both different. And know that you are the gods to the earth and you carry the most black gold and a person must respect you for that. Know you got that good black pussy. Know you got that big good black dick, that long black dick, that strong black dick. And respect yourself as a female, as a male. Don't worry about who don't like you in this world. It's because you're the most powerful in this world. And long as you understand that, you won't have much problem when somebody don't like you. Because you know you're carrying that gold. You carry that bag of gold. Alright? In knowledge, in power, in strength. The world cannot make it without no black people here. It would not be a world. It would not be no world. When we walk out in our clothes, we stop traffic. Every guy's got to stop and look when we dress and look good. The body shape and the way we look, everybody looking. When the man them step out, everybody looking. You understand? If you put a black girl together and a white girl together and you dress them both up, dress them both up and make them walk out and you'll see what happened. You will see what happened. Not like she don't look good, but she's more noticeable. The black girl is more noticeable. More. And I'm telling you right now, more because she carried that black gold. Everybody want black pussy. Go and Google that shit. Go and try to find out for yourself and you will see the light is off. It's kind of dark. Go and Google that shit and you will see and you will understand that you are a strong black woman and what you're carrying is gold and everybody wants your gold. Don't feel bad because you're black. Don't feel bad if somebody curse you and disrespect you, call you niggas and call you all kind of name. Don't worry about that shit. You're carrying the black gold and you're all in the world together and without you there would be no world. There was nobody to go and wipe people's ass this morning. And they sick bed up and down doctors. You have doctors, black doctors, black nurses, psychologists. You have everything in black. Everything in black. And if they say you want to hear education, we go out there and we get the education that they want us to have. Even though we have our knowledge and still doing good. So understand yourself that the world cannot live without no black. The world cannot do without the black because without us there is no world. No world. None at all. No world together without no blacks. The blacks hold the beauty of the world together. When we walk up, we make the world beautiful. And we hold things together because we know that we are the daughter of the most high. And we got the knowledge and we got the strength and we got the power. And even when they bring we down and push us down to the last, we still rise up back like a tree that is planted by the water. And just keep going. No matter what the consequences may be, no matter what we go through in life, no matter what happens, we still get up and we still go. That's the thing about black gold. It's a black gold and it will never change. Black gold is black gold. Love your black gold and love yourself. Know who you are. Your power and your strength lies within you to the most high God. And no matter what somebody say about you or bring you down, know that you're powerful because everybody want the black pussy and everybody want the black dick. I love you. God bless you. Call and get your cream to beautify your skin. To any shade, any color you want. 
347-469-3874. And also, if you want to tighten that black gold and pull the muscle up to be more powerful so to vibrate, call me get your pump pump tightener as well. Know who you are. Cherish who you are. And when you're amongst them white boy and them white girls, you know you're shining. You know you're shining because you're bringing something good to the table. You're bringing love. You're bringing family, your children. And you're bringing all the knowledge that you can teach from your history to their history. Okay, darling? So don't feel bad about what I say. It's just the truth. I love you. God bless you. And I hope you understand that you have the black gold and how to cherish yourself. Oliver, tight to all uh, jump. <laughs> you're too bad, boy, Oliver. You're tight to all jump. It's a vibrate of the black gold. It's a vibrate of the black gold. And land over the black gold. Yeah, something that you're the bad, your body. I love you too. God bless you too, Nika. Cherry, what's up? Good day, good day, good day. Good day. I don't want to say good morning today. I want to say good day. Good man, and she old and she like that. mad people. First of all, me can't have no gun man on my old and be like that. Because anytime they get in front of taking gun and shoot me, that's my fault. Me dead gun. That's enough of them lose their life. They're like gun man and them want to like gun man put them in a grave. Them like that. that. That is what I have to say. They have gun man put them in a grave. Them like that. Me not like no gun man. Because you're the fucking police. Me don't know what you're doing with gun. Gun is a weapon that black people should never have in their hand and they should never carry as a black girl with knowledge and power. You don't want to have something to kill the next black person or even the next white person or even the fucking animals. Why gun fucking exists? You know what I'm saying? So you want a fucking gun, man with gun in your whole life that is a fucking worthless bitch. So when you end up getting bomb clad and bust off, you end up in a bomb clad funeral and casket. You know that that come a long time because that's what you were looking for. Remember that the white boy, they're looking for white, they're looking for the good black pussy. You're looking for funeral, you're looking to death, you're looking for the gunman to kill you. You're looking for a suicide and you want dead. So go on your business with that. Like your bomber clot, you must have blood clot, man. But the gunman that you will and you like, and like your one girl want to box in her blood clot. Go sit down around the sun, take a box seat, a black gold, and go wash your black gold and keep it nice. Bomber clot, I can't talk about gunman. You take up your bomber clot, black gold, and get to a person where probably a test you, baby. Gunman. We are walking around them fucking mine all mixed up and them fucking ignorant and dark and we take care because the mine not working good. They camouflage, they're not real people. They fuck with their brain in the hospital, them ball to the boom and them are buying good. Alando, you have a big one, the boy. Alando, you have a big big black goal. Yes, darling, you have a big black goal. Put a cap on it, baby. That's right. The cold floor effect. You move your slippers, goody. Yeah. It's all of it. You have some good lips. Not really. Not really, mom. Yeah, but me not suck no wood, yeah, man. Nah, suck no wood at all, baby. Me not suck no fucking wood, man. You know, who that suck when you suck his church out all your lip? You push all that fucking wood. Come on, man. I can't be doing that shit to myself. Fucking hood in your mouth, call up. Open your jaw. You must see some man in them jaws still look like hood in them out. I seen a lot of them and them, my black sisters like, come on, sister, you can't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? They walk around, my mouth kind of looks the same way. And nothing in them out. <laughs> you print out. <laughs> you left print inside here. And do it all the while, say, print out. You know, sucking dick and sucking pussy, that was white people religion. That, that was white people religion before when I was a child. Like, come on. That's not like, you know what I'm saying? You turn back with your cock up that big ass shake and you take wood near your mama ass. You understand me? You take wood near your mama ass, you turn around and they would have strike you. You feel the magnet after black gold I got to you, you warm to you. I'm not glad take this wood of skin and put it in my mouth after me not white. What wrong with you, man? Uh, white people religion that blood clot the brother. I feel them religion that. 
Mamba clad eating raw raw meat and so good. Me can't do it. You tell it of the same taste, I guess. Me can't do it a blood clad. Me can't do it, lol. Me sorry. A white people religion. You understand? Know, and look at the towel. I suck your dick. Little black kids, you wanna bust them in their fucking mouth. Suck dick where, motherfucker? Suck dick where and why? Why you gotta suck dick? Do you know you have black gold between your fucking like vibrating like a motherfucking machine? You don't need nothing more than that shit. Fuck out of here with that shit. Sucking dick, spitting on the dick, licking back off the same nasty spit. All that is germs. Sucking somebody DNA off their skin. And so now, poof, I spit it back on it. And you kind of find that sexy and find that turn on. You're a fucking scavenger, man. Your stomach's supposed to blood clot sick. Your stomach's supposed to sick if you have stomach, it's supposed to rass sick. Rass clot. I walk, I can pit pan, pit pan the wood. And then take it to and lick off by the slime and I stretch it back all over it and all them thing. That's a sick, fucking sick, sick man, sick blood clot, sick. A lot of black people may say do it online and they suck it on the guy come and take it, come and spit it back out, pan him out, wipe it back off with them tongue. Judge a officer way, God. Judge a officer way. The officer way, man. God, if you come from the world, the world become a pure fucking shit. You understand? The world become shit now. Everything fucking goes. And you know, I love people. I love all people. Whether you're gay, whether you're not gay, that's not my fucking business. God, first of all, you're not coming home with me. I don't give a fuck what you do. Right? I can't tell you how to live your life. I live my life the way I want to live my life. But you know, I don't mind the transit too. But you know the only problem I have? The only problem I have is when a transy look look like a man still. I mean, if you're supposed to be a transy, you're supposed to transform. How the fuck you still look like a man and you're a transy? Where do you transform from? What did you trans to? You didn't leave from who you was. I have no problem with a transy. I have no problem with them. But I have a problem when a trans is still look like a man. Hard and tough and a woman close them. Like, damn, you don't look good, my nigga. If you're trans, just fucking trans. You're supposed to look like a female. How the fuck you look so hard and tough? You know, the woman boot them and foot them just big. And dry and hard and tough, so. You can't even walk in the fucking eel, my nigga. If you're a trans, trans, easy and smooth, no? Or you're trans so rough and hard and tough? Eh? I don't have no problem with who they want to be. But the only problem I had it when it was like when they drink that fucking testosterone or whatever that shit is. You know? And they go fucking crazy. They lost their fucking mind. They all gone mad in the fucking street. Drinking that fucking hormone to be a female and the hormone turn against the fucking mind now. They all gone fucking crazy. Crazy! One of them day I saw in this thing whatever. And I was going to Queens and the little one cream the other day. And me one big corrosive pan the train. I mean, I wonder what is nice on the fucking train. What's all this thing? I mean, listen to the voice. I'm going to the voice for the shelter. When me look at him, I walk around. I know I look fucking good, motherfuckers. I don't know what you want to say to me. I say, hey, 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 hey. Hey. And he look at me and run out of the train. When we come back and he say, like, I said, I saw you doing. Don't say anything to me. If you're trans, just fucking trans, my nigga. You foot them too big and tough in the woman boat, dog. You know, look good. If you're gonna be a trans, be a trans, you look good. I don't mind the trans, and they look nice. But some of them will look terrible, man. Some of them look terrible, man. If you're gonna trans, be a trans. You transfer from a man to a woman. Look like a woman, look. No? Your big old bumble clad, dry foot, them look like blood clad, ginger, and this boot, and force a foot in a way, came fit in a foot. God gotta come. God got to come. Can you see this black pussy will tell the truth? This black nick is running the world. Now you got to fuck some pussy, my nigga. And get kids. What the fuck? I ain't tell nobody to live their life. But I ain't no bitch gonna come suck on my pussy and put no dildo on my pussy. Give me the real dick that's hard and hot. I don't want a cold plastic dick. I don't want no cold plastic dick. Because I still got to be with a female and I still got to use plastic dick. Might as well I go back to the nigga with the hot goal. Long fucking hot goal. 
That shit is hot like a caramel porridge. We don't want a cold plastic dick in me, man. Where do you lost your fucking mind and senses? I can't tell people what to do. I love everybody. Whether you're gay or you're not gay. All I'm saying is, if you're a transy, try to trans a bit before you fucking... Just try to trans, baby. You can't be a fucking trans and you look the same as a man. You, you don't look nothing like a woman. You're tough. You're tough like when some cold food can boil. You're tough, man. I have the nerve to talk about, I know I look good, I know I look good. Why well, you a motherfucker looking at like something wrong? They're looking because you don't look trans. They're looking because you fuck them too tough in the woman boat. That's why they might look. A lot of people trans and you never know so they're trans because they look good in their clothes. <coughs> they look good. They look good in their motherfucking clothes and you come out here in a woman's shoes and your fucking man foot a hang out and you look terrible. People gotta look. Even when a transy is gonna look. Even when a transy is gonna be looking at your ass like that. They know. They don't know. They know. They don't know. They know. They know. They don't know. They know. They know. I respect everybody and I love everybody. But if you're gonna trans, trans the fuck on. Don't fucking come out here forcing your foot, your 10 fucking size foot, man foot into a fucking size 9, uh, fucking 8, 8, woman 8. A size woman 8 shoes and you're a man and you're wearing 10 and you're forcing a big ass and you want that shit busting up your foot. You can't even walk straight. Trans motherfucker, trans on. Jesus Christ. You walk around and you're scaring people. How are you going to be trans into a fashion and you're scaring fucking people? Scare them off the fucking train. Scare them off the fucking street, my nigga. Then if you're scaring people, you got to go back and look in the mirror like my trans ain't right yet. You know what I mean? I got to do something. Check RuPaul. Please check RuPaul. Because RuPaul is my bitch. I love RuPaul. RuPaul is the shit. I love me some RuPaul. Let me tell you. Check RuPaul and get some fucking lessons, my nigga. Don't go around cursing people when they're looking at you. Like, what the fuck you looking at? Blah, blah, blah. Because you're in transit right. So they know. They know. You know what I'm saying? Good gosh of mercy, man. Good God of mercy. And you want to be picking at somebody like, what you looking at, bitch? Blah, blah, blah. Because you ain't transing right, baby. You're scaring everybody looking. You look like you're stepping on a scary fucking movie. You ain't transing right, baby. You need to check RuPaul and learn to trans fucking right. I love you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Take a shower already. And so on. And I come back and get these braids up. My God, I'm here to, to report all my scalp. So I'm looking like I'm dying from some fucking cancer in my brain. I don't get this shit out my head. I love you, baby. I love all of you. White, purple, blue, and black. I'm not racist or racism. But I tell you, the first time I saw a dick suck was by a white girl. And I'm sure they still hold the flag to that as the winner. So go on and have a blessed day now. <laughs> All of you, and God be with you, teach your children to fuck, not suck. Teach them the words of God. Teach them good morals. I love you. God bless you.